wants to talk about Viral. She wants to hear about him. She's a broken woman. She can't get it together. She's getting worse each day. Are you talking? Have you seen her? I haven't. I just talked to her on the phone. That's because she insisted. I always make an excuse. I tell her I'm busy, but she just keeps calling. She's getting obsessed with calling me. Do not answer. Don't pick up the phone. You saw that I didn't. I mean never. I don't want to hear that you've talked to her. Okay, uh-huh. Well, I will say this. We'll be leaving here soon. And we'll leave everything behind in a couple weeks. staying in like a couple of grounded kids. Let's go out for a while. Where can we go? Can we talk to anyone? Everyone we know knows about what happened. What are you looking at? Again? Boy, you have it really bad for that girl. Yes, sir, you're right. Don't tell me that you've fallen in love. I wish that I had met her a year ago. If I'd known her a year ago... Yeah? If there was something meaningful in my life then, I might not have been there that night. Well, I had something meaningful then too. It was my engagement night. You ruined us all on my engagement night. You started everything and we followed you like idiots. And now look, my life is done. And now Viral is dead. Our company's bankrupt. We went to prison. We walk around like mules that have just been branded. Everyone knows what we've done. We can't even say hello to anyone. We can only go to work. We're like slaves now. It's too late to go back to last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know that now. We have no idea what will happen or if we'll make it through the trial alive, but you dream your romantic dreams. Well, I hated myself even more after I had met that girl. I also regretted what I'd done more. I want to be a different Erdogan right now. I wish water could cleanse off all of the dirt. As a perfectly clean Erdogan. Ho ho ho. It's serious. Be realistic now. Don't be a weakling. Because there's no more hope for us. <sighs> Please leave us alone. Sit down, Hilmie. What's wrong? Oh, it doesn't matter. Keep playing. Farahan, you're making me crazy. Just tell me where it is. Do you want me to go through the whole house then and tear every room into pieces? This is not a game, so you'd better behave right now. Don't bother looking in the house. It's down at the bank in my safe. I'm sorry, I moved wrong again. What is it? It's nothing too important. Keep playing, it's your move.
have gotten a lawyer. He will file a lawsuit. What will happen if they divorce Rami? They won't stay in the same house, right? Then one of us will have to leave the house. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Look at me. You know that Fatmakul won't leave. It will be us that will leave. Shh. And just when we've gotten all comfortable. It's just our luck. Soon we'll have a baby. Then what will we do? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. It's difficult for me to understand all of the law terms, but the situation's getting better. Everything's clearer now as time goes by. Oh, I hope so. Mary Ann, look at what I've done. Mm, let's see. Oh, this looks so good, so great. Mm -hmm. Very good. You should show it to Mr. Kadir. Let me see. Fatmogul can't live without a problem. She just can't be silent. Uh-uh. <sighs> She'll make us suffer again. You'll see that she will. Oh, you've painted them all, so I see. We should buy you a new book. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> This is good, thank you. They're here! Run, Rami! Run! Run, run! They're here! They're here! Rami, please don't. Thanks a lot. darling. Hey there, Marat. <laughs> My mother was so worried about you. What is in that box? Please tell me. Something you will like. What is it? You'll see when I open it. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Open it. Okay, we will. What's that? We have brought you some cake. Cake? Oh boy, I can't wait! How are you, Kadir? I'm fine. I was just showing the things that I'm going to put in the court case file to Mary M. That's good. I'd like to take a look. Oh, and it's chocolate cake! Mm, we can't eat this. Wasn't it ordered by a customer? No, it was for us. Who ate the missing part? We ate it. Uh-huh. Look at me. Did you two celebrate something? Was it a wedding anniversary? <laughs> well, you look at that. We think they're getting a divorce, and look at what they go and do. I'll make some tea. It goes well with cake. Sit down, Mary Ann. I'll make it. Look at me. So you aren't going to answer? Why did you bring us down if you weren't going to get a divorce? Tell us now. We were waiting for hours, deeply worried that you'd tell us you'd be getting divorced, but you two were celebrating your wedding anniversary. See, I told you we shouldn't bring the cake. Have a good night. Thank you for the lovely cake. You're welcome. Oh, that 
young woman. Ugh. Karem, have a restful sleep. I'm happy to hear you're together. 